Hey guys, welcome back to an episode of Create with Linda. So it is Monday. It's Monday and it's like two o'clock. And um, I'm just getting my day started. I mean, actually, you know, I've been up since 8.30. Got Jenny off and all that. Um, hung out in the living room, watched a little TV. Um, then, uh, you know, had coffee, didn't have breakfast. Then I just um, sat around watching a couple of videos. Um, and then I just had lunch. I had leftover chicken parm. And I'm sitting at the table now thinking about what I'm going to do because... Sorry, guys. I'm always playing with my hair. Deciding what I'm going to do because there are some things I have to get done. I actually have to get my... Um, my It's like a mirror. <laughs> my um, board going. I have to write some stuff on there about what I have in the freezer and the fridge, trying to get organized. I have cauliflower. I have two heads of cauliflower in that that um, crisp drawer in the refrigerator that's gnawing on my mind that I have to get them out of there and do something with them because they're going to go bad. If I leave them in there, they're going to go bad. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut them all up. Tonight I'm going to make, I'm making, um, for what's for dinner, I'm making a sheet pan meal. Um, so that's what's going to be for dinner tonight. So I think I'll add that on to the sheet pan meal um, with it. So this way I can use some of that cauliflower. And then maybe I'll make some cauliflower rice with it or something. I don't know. i got to do something with it. Otherwise it's going to go bad and I don't need it to go bad. I bought it because it was on sale. It was two for five and I was craving cauliflower. I had just seen like a, somebody make some sort of cheesy cauliflower. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll make the recipe. That would be a good idea. That's why I bought it. Guys, I'm telling you, the struggle is real. The struggle is real because um, I f feel like I'm always fighting this this struggle of motivation. So comment down below if you guys fight motivation struggles, because I'm sure you do. Um, you know, I get up, I have I have this idea of doing this and doing that. And then, and, and the thing too, guys, is that I'm physically in a lot of pain right now. I know I have to go to the doctor. I really have to make an appointment at the, um, at the chiropractor. Now I have this issue where I usually just, it's usually just my back, like my sciatic, my lower back. Sometimes I feel like there's a, an, an elephant sitting on my lower back. Now I have this issue where my right hip is, kick, is hurt, killing me. And um, if I sit too long, it hurts when I get up. If I, if I stand or walk around, it hurts. But when I go to get up, like, and I step on my right foot, I get this sharp, sharp shooting pain in my hip, in my right hip. So now I have where my right hip hurts. It's just always something, guys. So that debilitates me a little bit too much. But thank God I have my kitchen table. My kitchen is nice. I have, you know, I set myself up to get the things done that I have to get up, get done because I refuse I mean, there are days when I would like to just sit on the couch, but I refuse. Like, um, I have enough, you know, um, um, motivation, which isn't a lot, but I have enough to get myself up and get dressed and stuff. Like, I, you know, years ago, I would just sit on the couch with a blanket over me and just not want to do anything. That's because I wasn't on the right medication and all that. So I have enough, you know, um, of that, of that stuff in me to get me functioning. And I just have to push myself. And doing YouTube really pushes me. And my family, my husband, my kids, they all motivate me, you know, most of the time to get things done. If I say, oh, I don't feel like doing a video. What do you mean, Mom? You ought to do your video. Come on. You know, they're always pushing me and stuff, which is great because, you know, it's, it's a struggle. It's a struggle. And you guys know that. I've told you guys that. So. Let me go get the cauliflower and decide what I'm going to do with that. Oh, let me get, yeah, I'm trying to think what I should do first, the cauliflower or the board. Maybe the board. Oh, maybe the cauliflower. I don't know. I'll be back in a second. All right, guys. So I have my board here now. Okay. There's a whole bunch of stuff on here from the last two weeks. What I'm going to do is um, I'm going to... I like my little sayings. Um, I have pork roast in the freezer. Um, you guys can see, which I still have in the freezer. 
I have chicken breasts in the freezer. I have. I was just down there today. I went down to my freezer and did an assessment of what I have in the freezer. And guys, 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 guys. I have three big Ziploc bags full of chicken breasts that are frozen in there. I have a big bag of chicken legs, chicken drumsticks. I have um, like three bags of broccoli. I have um, a tray of um, um, enchiladas that I had put in there because when I made them, I made enchiladas, right, Bill? Everything. What? I have another tray of enchiladas down there, right? Yeah. Yeah, because when I made the enchiladas, I made two trays. One I put in the um, in the freezer downstairs. Um, I have a couple of bags of like soups um, in the freezer down there. But as far as meat goes, that's the meat I have is three bags of chick, three big bags of chicken, you know, breast. Then I have um, chicken drumsticks up here in this freezer. I have a bag of chicken thighs that I need to use and some odds and ends in there. Oh, and in the downstairs freezer, I have a big pork roast. And I think I have some pork chops left in there. I didn't see the pork chops when we were down there. I might have used all the pork chops. I think I might have. If not, I probably, I might have a, a small bag, but I do have a big pork roast that I have to get made very, very soon. I mean, it's, it's, it's fine in the freezer, but we want it, you know. I'm just trying to find a way to make, to make it because um, most of the people in my house aren't crazy, but I don't know. They they like pork roast and they eat pork chops and all that. But if I say, oh, I'm making a pork roast, oh, I'm not really crazy. Well, you know what? You don't want it, don't eat it. It's the same as a pork chop. You know what I don't get? Like my kid, like my two of my adult kids don't like meatloaf because they say they don't like meatloaf. They don't like the texture. But meatloaf is just like a meatball. And meatloaf is just like a burger. You know what I mean? Like I just don't get that kind. I don't. I don't understand it. I don't because it literally like I make my meatball mixture. Like I make my meat loaf mixture. It's just shaped differently. It just has a different texture. I guess it. I guess it's a texture. I don't know what it is. But anyway, guys, they say the same thing with pork roast. But you know what? They're, they'll either eat it or we'll eat it on pork roast sandwiches or whatever. So I have that down down in the freezer. I got off track. Down there in the freezer. Okay, so, um, so that's what I, I still have the pork roast, chicken breast, um, chicken drumsticks, um, spaghetti squash is still up there that I haven't used. I'm gonna have to, my husband has to give it to me because I have it all the way up on top there and I can't reach it. I'm gonna get it down and see if it's still good. If it's still good, I'll use it. If not, guess where it's going? It's like freaking garbage. Um, freezer, I have mana good. Oh, that's what I have down there, mana good. Yeah, remember I have a tray of mine of good down there? Oh, okay, yeah. And I think, I thought I had enchiladas too. I thought that was enchiladas. No, it's not enchiladas, it's, it's mine of good. I don't know where I was thinking enchiladas. Okay, so I have a tray of mine of good down there in the freezer. And uh, so, yeah, so this stuff basically has to stay here. I'm just going to rewrite it so it's neater and clean this up. Um, because I, I made, um, for the meals for this week, I made... Um, I had beef, we, last week I made beef barley soup, and then we made meatloaf, and I had here jalapeno, cream cheese, and I have cauliflower here, reminding me what I have in the refrigerator. So I'm going to clean this up, write stuff down, and then we'll get the cauliflower out and start cutting up the cauliflower, and assess other stuff that I have um, around and about. All right, so um, all right, I can erase it. Why doesn't this thing erase? This thing doesn't erase very good. It really doesn't. It's like I noticed I have to use a scrubber on this one. It's quite annoying. Yeah, look at that. It doesn't even come off with, with just a wet... It was just a wet rag, it doesn't even come off. Look. It aggravates me, this board. It aggravates me, but I like the lines on it. I really do, I like the lines on it. Okay, so, um, let me just write this down because I'm telling you guys, I am so forgetful that I'll erase it and I won't remember, I really won't. 
chicken breast. These are in the freezer. Chicken legs. And then the squash we have to check out. Um, so I got the spaghetti squash that's up here, and then the amount of good in the freezer. Okay, all right, so. Um, let me get the scrubber because this is not working and I want it to be clear when I write the new stuff on it. All right, guys. So, um, I took some soap. I'm scrubbing it. Most of it's coming off. There's one little part that's not coming off for some reason. I don't know why, but. Get it as good as I can. Hey, what are you doing? <coughs> I don't know why this is. I don't know, but it is what it is. I got this at, um, where did I get this? I don't think I got this at Five Below, no. I don't remember where I got this one. Yeah, I've had this for a long time. I didn't get this at Five Below. I got the other one at Five Below. So what do you think, guys? See, it's not that great. Didn't really open them off, but it is what it is. All right, guys. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do is write down. Make sure this is all dry. Um, in my freezer things. Freezer. I'm just going to put an F. Um, so I have the pork roast in the freezer, um, chicken breast, chicken breast with an S, um, Chicken drumsticks, um, and the cooked managut, manakati. All right, that's what's in the freezer. You know what I'm going to do? I know this is very weird, but I'm weird when it comes to some stuff. I'm going to erase the F's with the freezer with the blue, and I'm going to put it in a different color. I know I'm weird. In red. I put the freezer in red. F for freezer. F for freezer. F. So that's what's in the freezer, see? That's in the freezer, you guys can see that. Um, now, the refrigerator. Hmm. Okay. Refrigerator. Refrig. Right now, I have the collie. I know I have celery in there that I have to use, do something with. I have leftover um, jalapeno peppers. 
Yeah, that I thought my son liked. He doesn't like them. He doesn't like the big, big jalapenos. He only likes little pieces of jalapeno. So I'm going to have to stick them in the freezer. That's what I really am going to do. I'm going to stick them in the freezer. Jalapenos. Um, what else do I have in the fridge? I think I have... I think I have a head of lettuce in there. Yeah, head of lettuce. And I'm gonna write that squash down. I'm not sure what we're gonna do with that gothy thing. I have tomatoes and I have some bananas there. Definitely gonna write um, fresh, fresh stuff, which is tomatoes. Um, cucumber, cucumber, and I have um, a couple of bananas, bananas, um, let me check out the refrigerator and see if I have anything else to add to this situation here. All right guys, so I just looked, checked it out, so I have... Um, I have corn on the cob in there. I guess we'll probably make that tonight. I have the fresh corn on the cob that I made. I also have that in the freezer, but I don't want to do it with those because they were cool, gross. Maybe I overcooked them. I'll try them. I'll try to use them again and see how they are. Maybe I overcooked them. That's the only thing I'm going to, the thing I can think of because they were horrible. But we'll see. I'll try them again because I have a whole pack of them in there. I'm not going to let them go to waste. Not this time. I'll use the fresh because I have the fresh. Like tonight, I'll use the fresh for the what's for, for dinner. But uh, the other ones, I'm definitely going to try again because I'm not going to bring them back in there. Right there. You know, in there, whatever. All right, so I got corn on the cob. I also have... Um, God, I forgot what I have in there. Oh, I have um, carrots. That have to be used, corn on the cob, carrots. Oh, a big bag of fresh broccoli. I think I might use that tonight with my what's for dinner, what's with my um, sheet pan meal. Yeah, I think that, that's what I'm gonna do, guys. I'm gonna use broccoli and cauliflower. Make a nice sheet pan meal um, with something else. I'm not gonna tell you what that is right now. I want you to be surprised tonight and see that when you see the what's for dinner. Um, Okay, carrots and broccoli. And then tonight, when I'm done with this, after dinner, um, whatever, I'll, you know, mark off what I used. I'm really losing it. I'm losing it. I forgot how to spell broccoli. Broccoli. B R O C. C-O-L-I. Alexa, how do you spell broccoli? Thank you. I got it, guys. I don't know how to spell it. <laughs> uh, I have to be very good at spelling. Anyway. Um, okay, so these are... This is done so far, and if I remember anything... Else, oh, I have, do I have lemons up there? I think I have some lemons up there, too. Let me put the lemons down, so. And I just use this, guys. Like, you, you know, you say, oh, how does this help? It does help me because to think about what I have in there, like, you know, to go look and search. Refrigerator is always a freaking mess, even though we fucking freaking straighten it out every other day. It's always because uh, everybody's going in there and moving things, and it's just never where, the way it's supposed to be. So having this up there is great because I can look and say, oh, I have that in the fridge. I don't have to go searching and say, ooh, do I have, do I have this? Do I have that? Like, let me, let, let me write here, sour cream. Sour cream I have in there. I have butter in the fridge and I have butter in the freezer. I'm gonna put that in here, butter. Butter's the type of thing, too, like, even if I have, like, I have one pound in my freezer and I have two, well, one and a half in my refrigerator. 
like that to me isn't even enough butter. <laughs> like I'm satisfied when I have two, like two double packs in the freezer. I just, it's something about butter and I, I don't know, and eggs, like a uh, bug, bug, bugs. Butter, eggs, and milk, guys, I've always felt like if I, you know, if I, I need to have that. And I think that's a lot from growing up with maybe lacking some stuff at some point, you know, when you were struggling with money and, you know, maybe we didn't have exactly what we needed or wanted, wanted. We always had what we needed and we were okay, but sometimes you don't have what you wanted. So I think just today, like in my life, and since I've been an adult and married with kids and all that, I always feel more secure when I have like, I can have everything, but if I don't have a pound of butter in the refrigerator or the freezer or a gallon of milk or, you know, eggs, I feel like I have, I, have, I don't have any food. I don't have any food. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? That is such a hang-up that, that we got from growing up. And it really is true. You know, you get all your hang-ups from what you saw growing up and what happened in your life growing up, and that's where the hang-ups come from. And that's one of my hang-ups. I had one aunt, Aunt Jerry, God love her and miss you so my ginger, I miss you. She had backups. Everything was a backup. She go go in the go in the pantry and get me a, a canned tuna fish. Okay, Aunt Jeff. Go into the pantry and the, if there was one can of tuna fish, there was fifteen. I'm like one. What are the little tuna? Backups, Linda. Backups. She and and that's where we get it from. You know, is gotta have a backup. Gotta have a backup. <laughs> so. It stems from your childhood. And it's not a bad thing. It really isn't a bad thing. It's a good thing. Because I always have backups now. Thanks, Aunt Jeff. <laughs> crazy, I know. But anyway, today, the way craziness is going through this, with this world, what, what's happening in this world today, you need to stock up. Go to the food, when you go to the food store, and, um, you know, I was just watching a video of Jessie from the HodgePodge Life of Jessie, and she had a lot of good points on there talking about you know, stocking up and stuff, and if you have a little bit of extra money or just on your normal, regular, you know, grocery grocery days that you go. Let's say when you go and you, you look in your pantry before you go and you say, oh, I have two cans of corn. Okay, if you normally would buy, like I would normally buy, and with me, I would get two more cans of corn. But if you normally buy two cans of corn, get one extra. If you normally buy one, get one extra. You know what I mean? Just get one or two things of everything that you actually eat for your pantry or your freezer or whatever. This way, you're not wasting money. It's not sitting in there and not going to be eaten. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, my aunt, like, who, whoever, or, you know, some people say, oh, I'm not going to buy that. I'm not going to need that. Well, you know what? The way life is today with the, with, the, with, the, with the shortages and everything, you just don't know. So grab that extra extra um, thing of toilet paper, that extra thing of paper towels. I'm not saying hoard, I'm not saying that, but I'm saying every time you go, just buy an extra. So you can add that extra to your stock and you have it, so God forbid something happens, you you have toilet paper to wipe your booty with. You know, <laughs> you won't be using loose leaf paper. Guys, I make or your hand. Guys, I make a joke, but I'm just being serious. Like, I'm really being serious. If you can afford it, like, I know it's rough. I know, you know, please believe me, you live paycheck to paycheck, you pay your bills, you know, you have enough money in the budget for food, for the, and sometimes you can't do that. So if you can't buy a lot, buy one of an extra thing. Or one week, buy two of an extra, of one extra thing, you know. Don't buy five different, five more items of every item, just... Buy a couple of one item or something. Just do whatever you have to do for your family and what's in your budget because you're the one that has to live with it and, and be able to budget and be able to um, feed your family and all that. So, um, But it really is a good idea. She had a lot of good points. Go to Jesse from the HodgePodge Life of Jesse. She's really good to watch, guys. Very, very good to watch. She has a lot of good tips on there. She's a, um, a family, a young family you know, with three young kids who just try to make ends meet and working and has, has a house and beautiful and, and all that. And they're just trying to make it, you know, it's rough today. And um, she had a budget. She was talking about all this budgeting stuff and she really helped me because I'm always struggling with budgets and this and that and other things, you know. <laughs> so it's a little difficult, but yeah. Somebody had a package. Out. Oh my God, you carried the package yeah, in? myself. You can't carry packages in. Anyway, so. I got the two heads of 
cauliflower here. I like more pie pasta. I get some green things off. I gotta remember to eat more raw cauliflower because I really like it. It's great to like dip in ranch, you know, and um, dips. Do you answer a no call ID? Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Hello? I cut up the two heads of cauliflower, okay? I didn't feel you needed to see the whole cut up thing. Um, so, I just had my daughter grab me the spaghetti, grab me the spaghetti squash. And it still looks it looks fine. I mean, I think I've had it there like two weeks, but it seems to be okay. So we're going to cut it open and we're going to see what's, what the story is with it. I don't know about this. I forget how I do this the last time. I think I just poked holes. I can't do this like this. I think I microwave it a little bit before I cut it, but I'm not going to do that this time. Just give me a second. Have this little knife here. Oh. Be careful, guys. Woo! Be careful. I usually, what I do is I usually microwave it for like five minutes just to soften it up a little bit before I cut it, but I'm not all about that right now. I just want to get it cut. Just want to get it cut. Who is texting me? Let's see. Did I not go all the way through? I thought I did. Ooh. All right, so let's try the big knife now. There we go, guys. Okay. Okay. The inside looks good. It looks like it's still good. I'm really, really excited about that. I will roast it up. This way it won't go to waste. Gotta cut out all these seeds. Um, which isn't that bad of a thing. Just cut out. It's a little messy, it's like a pumpkin. I'm just carving out a pumpkin. And you gotta make sure you don't take all the flesh because the flesh is what 
is the best part. You want to eat, obviously. But you got to get the seeds out. So. That's what I'm doing. And cutting it all out. Oh, it's raining, too. All right, one minute, Coop. Oh, he just let himself in. Hi, Cooper. He lets himself in the back door. The only problem with that, guys, it's great. It's a little helpful, but it'd be more helpful if you shut the door. So he comes in, and the nerve of him not to shut the door. <laughs> the door's wide open. Cooper, you gotta learn how to shut the door. What good is that? That didn't help, Mom. That doesn't help me, buddy. I wonder, I've heard if you grow, if you um, grow these, you know, you, you bury these seeds, if you plant these seeds, let's think another word, um, that you'll grow the stuff. I'm going to try it. I'm going to save a couple of these and save it and see what happens. <laughs> Let me shut the door because it's raining. Oh, it's pouring now. What? It's raining. It's supposed to rain. Yeah, I thought it was supposed to rain later. I didn't want to say in front of Herbert there's a chance of snow on Wednesday. Are you kidding me? No. I didn't want to say it coming down. Jenny um, was supposed to go, was supposed to have her um, mentor today. She had some issues, but she couldn't come. Um, so then she said, I'll see you Wednesday. So Jenny's all excited for Wednesday now because... Jenny just looks forward to it so much, and she just gets crazy. Um, so um, and then my husband just said, I didn't want to say anything, but I think it might be going to snow Wednesday. Mm, not good. All right, let's put this over here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to save some of these seeds. Because I don't know. I'm going to save them for my garden because I'm making a garden this year outside even though I have my garden in here I want a garden this year last year I didn't have it because uh, Billy the year before we had it but the, um, with COVID and everything we just couldn't get it done so I'm going to have it this year I want a garden okay let's put those here I'm going to save these Let's get these cut out of here. I'll use this knife. You can use a spoon too to the good again, you know, like you do with a pumpkin. This is good though, because as you're scraping, you can also cut. So it, it takes out what you need. Take out. So, this is what you gotta do. Boo hoo hoo. All right, guys, so listen. Um, here's the deal. Just wanted to make sure I was recording because I do that sometimes. I think I'm recording and then I look over and the thing is not even going. So, the thing is. Um, I want to announce some things while I'm on here. Hey, and seeds are going everywhere. That's okay. Um, so, on upcoming videos, there's a copycat um, collab. It's a collab with just friends. We're not, nobody's really hosting it. We're all just doing it together. Um, it's a copycat um, video, you know, collab video whatever that's on march 22nd then me and uh me jerry and a few other people i'm not really sure exactly who yet will be doing we're going to be i'm going to be hosting um a cheap eats video which means something cheap it doesn't have to be for six people you can make a meal or a dessert or something that will feed one or will feed or you can you know you can feed five with it 
but it's going to be a cheap, it's called Cheap Eats. It's going to be like a cheap meal, okay? Not like a budget meal. Well, it is kind of budget meal, but I hate to call it budget because I've had issues with doing budget meals in the past, so we're not going to call it that. We're calling it Cheap Eats. That's on March 25th, and then I have a freezer collab with Jessie from um, the HodgePodge Life of Jessie that she's doing a collab on um, woo, April 14th. So that's in April, but I'll, I'll still remind you guys about that one. But yeah, the 22nd and the 25th, guys. If you want to join in the collab um, on the 25th, like I said, it is um, a, a cheap eats. Make, you can make a meal, you know, a meal for um, a cheap meal that can be, um, that can be made for your family that's cheap, that's reasonable. And, you know, even if you make it for one as opposed to making it for five, it's still going to be a cheap meal. So that's, that's what we're doing. So if you want to join, join in, make your video. Then, then after I post my video, say, hey, Linda, I put my video up, you know, you add it to the playlist and I'll add it to my playlist. And you guys will be on the playlist. Okay. And let, so let me know. I hope you guys can join. It's going to be a lot of fun. And if you're not joining, go watch, guys. You're going to have, it's going to be fun. I know today we need some cheap meals because the way food prices are going and all of that, it's just crazy, guys. It's just, just crazy. And we have to save money all where we can because you never know what's going to happen, you know, especially with COVID and, you know, and just, you know, people going crazy with buying, over buying things or, you know, the not having the supply of things. I don't know. It seems to always be a new thing, you know, because of one thing, another thing happens, like, because the gas is high, this happens. Because of the gas is high, th this happens. Because of COVID, this happens. You know, it's like a, a cause and effect type of thing, and it just seems to never end. So I'm just saying, you don't have to panic. You don't have to be crazy, people. Just be prepared. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a little special video on, you know, tips to keep yourself um prepared and organized nothing crazy just gonna be my own stuff really my own advice about my own stuff you know everybody does it and i think it's just good to have different opinions and different advice you know about what you can do to keep your you know your family in the red is that in, is that right in the red or in the green what is it bell being in the red or green is being good what, what's what's good what is being in the in the good in the red or in the green Thank you. In, the green. in the green. It's just about being in the green, guys. And that's what I want to do. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make a little video. That'll be up. I don't know. I have to feel how motivated I feel. It might be up within the next day or two. It could be up in three days. You know me. You know Linda from Creative Linda. Sometimes I can be a little, you know, late to the game. <laughs> I try my best, guys. You know, like I said... I love doing this. It's just fun. And, you know, I do it anyway. And, like, you know, there are some other things I want to talk about as far as the weight loss surgery and my channel and all that, how it's going to affect it and if it's going to affect it. You know, I'm a little nervous about that. But I have it kind of worked out in my head, and I don't think it will. And, like I said, I'll talk more about that. Um, I'm going to do an update, informational, all that. I think it's time for that a video. So... Maybe tonight if I feel motivated after dinner and see how I feel, I might do that. So, that's another thing to look forward to, guys, on Linda's channel, Create the Linda. Um, okay, so these look really good. So, what I'm going to do, and they smell good, so I'm going to season them up. I'm going to put them in the air fryer on, um, probably on bake. They, cook, they take about 45 minutes. I'll put them in there. This way I have it all roasted. Not necessarily will I eat this tonight, but it could be a snack, you know. It's spaghetti squash, so it's really good for me as far as the low carb and all of that. And, um, yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to go get the pan, get the olive oil, and get the seasons I want to put in here, and we'll get going. Then I'm wondering if I should end this video and then just start a new what's for dinner video. I think I'm probably going to do that. I'm going to show you how I do the squash. Then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go. I'm gonna end this video, post it, and then I'll put another what's for dinner up tonight. This way I get myself... I have an hour to get myself settled and all that to get to the next thing. Because this is me, guys. I start late. I mean, I, like I said, I was up early. I, I, I mean to get in here earlier into the kitchen.
But I always start one, twelve, one, two o'clock, and then, you know, by that time, it's time for dinner already. By the time I get going. So, um, so yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. So let me stop talking for a second and get the pan and all that so I can do that, and then I'll end the video. Pan. Um, I'm going to pour some olive oil on the pan, kind of spread it around. Now, I like to put butter in my butternut squash, but I mean my um, spaghetti squash, but I'm turning it upside down, so the butter's just gonna come out anyway, so I'm really not gonna do that. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna season it with, um, with olive oil, because that'll basically stay on there, you know. I'll rub it in. This will basically stay on here. Woo! Oh, that's awesome. I am really a disaster. <sighs> Guys, what are you gonna do? All right. So, getting this on the oil. Now, you know, guys, I've been doing a low sodium thing, right? So, um, I just feel like I need more flavor in my food because I feel like the salt is just missing. Even though I'm using all these things like the dash and, and everything else, I just feel like I'm, I'm still missing something. So, I don't know. I just, I'm, I've just been fooling around with some flavors and stuff. So, right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some, some um, onion powder. And honestly, guys, sometimes I just go to the salt and I put a little salt on because I'm like, I need something more. Even the dashes that I use and, and, this, and the, the seasonings don't cut it sometimes. So I try my best. So I try not to cook with too much salt. This way, if I do add a tiny bit of salt, it's okay. You know, and all those processed foods and everything else, you know, I try not to eat that as well. Okay, so I have Dano's, which is a nice flavor. So I'm gonna load it up with Dano's. Ten dollars a uh, a jar for that a container. Have send send away for it. They don't sell it in stores, so we send it on Amazon. Okay, I'm gonna put dash. I put already onion powder, garlic powder, and some dash. Um, did I put pepper? No, I'm going to put pepper. <coughs> I am going to put a little grated cheese. I'm going to turn them over. Okay. Just poke a little holes in them so it doesn't explode or anything. I'm going to put this in the, in the oven on bake in the air fryer on bake on 400 for 45 minutes and that should be they'll be done at that time and then later when i do my what's for dinner i'll show you the end product guys of the, of the spaghetti squash okay so let me just put these in and then i'm coming on coming back and i'm gonna say goodbye Time uh, maybe forty five minutes. All right, forty five minutes. All right, so that's in there for that. Now, guys, I'm gonna go. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's kind of a crazy one, you know, this and that, cauliflower talking, whatever it is. This is me, look great with Linda. Um, and this is my video. So, um, yeah, so I'll be back, um, in, in later on, I usually post between seven and eight, usually, um, my what's for dinner video. So I'll be back with that. So guys, don't forget about all these dates I told you about. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button on the bottom. If you guys like this video and hit the share, the 
subscribe and all that stuff, guys. All right, I appreciate it so much. And just by commenting and everything, you don't know how it makes my channel grow. I just love to do this. I love to, um, you know, to interact with you guys. I love the comments. So go comment down below, guys. Okay, and um, and that's all I have to say. So that's it. So guys, I'll see you on the next video. Bye.